When it comes to spotting talented youngsters, Transworld Sport has made many good bets on future stars of the sports world. Maria Sharapova, Tiger Woods and the Williams sisters have all appeared on this show when they were in their formative years. Well, we believe that we may have just hit on another pair of sisters, who you might be hearing a lot more about in the forthcoming years. Meet the Maguire girls from Ireland. 13-year-old Leona and her twin sister Lisa. The identical duo are two of the most promising female golfers around, and in just three years, they've taken the junior golfing world by storm. It'll be great to be battling it down on the 18th one day for a major between us, but uh, at the minute we're just trying to take every year as it comes and play the competitions that we're entered in at the minute and do as best we can. Yeah, well, we've, uh, we'll be playing in a lot of girls' and ladies' competitions now over the summer, but our first one will be the Under-21 French Open at Easter time, so that'll be the first main goal of the year. Lisa and Leona hail from Bally Connell, a small town in County Cavan close to the border with Northern Ireland. They practice at the Sleeve Russell Golf and Country Club, which is just a few miles from their home. They're coached by Shane O'Grady, who has overseen their development over the last couple of years. He's one of many who is convinced that these youngsters have the potential to make it to the very top of the sport. It's a long road, long road to get there, but uh, they definitely have the ability. Uh, there's very few people in the world that good, that young, and technically that good. Uh, and they have a great understanding of, of what they're doing. They're, they're, they're clever girls. Lisa and Leona have won over 50 tournaments between them. At the 2006 Under-12 World Championship at Pinehurst in America, Lisa won and Leona came third. In a short space of time, they've established themselves as the best female golfers in the world for their age. Hey. Hey. Uh, well, we're trying to stay as calm as we can. We don't try and get too excited. Uh, it's very easy to get your head up in the cl clouds. You have to keep your um, feet on the ground and just trying to take every day as it comes and, and just try and play golf as best you can. The twins started playing golf at the age of 10 almost by chance. Their first love was swimming, but three years ago Lisa broke her elbow. To aid her recuperation, their doctor suggested that she should take up an additional sport. Their father bought them some golf clubs and they were hooked instantly. A year later, their prodigious talents came to the attention of O'Grady. Under his tutelage, Lisa has become a scratch golfer, whilst Leona currently plays off a handicap of one. Their rapid development has also been aided by the girls' natural competitive streak and the fact that they're constantly pushing one another to excel. A lot of people say, how are they that good, that young? But uh, neither of them like losing, especially when you're twins. Uh, one is Lisa is always trying to beat Leona, and Leona's trying to beat Lisa. And then, as soon as that happens, Lisa knuckles down and tries to beat her again. So there's constant motivation for each other, and they have great fun with it. It's a nice rivalry, and they're, they're, they're quite good with each other that way. You know, and that's, that's, it's hard to buy that. You can't get that. It's a nice recipe. Well, the best part of my game is probably my long game. I hit it that wee bit further than Leona does off the tee. And then Leona's probably that wee bit better at the short game than I am. Yeah, I probably agree with Lisa. My short game's probably better than Lisa because I have to hit more short shots uh, because I'm not as long as her. But yeah, her long game's probably a little bit better at the minute. But not for long, hopefully. At this stage in their development, golf isn't allowed to dominate Lisa and Leona's life. The girl's mother, Breda, and their father, Declan, are both primary school head teachers and are keen for their daughters to succeed at school. As a result, golf is restricted to the weekends during term time. The priority is to, to do well in school and then come 16, 17, 18, if they're still showing good promise in the golf, well, we'll probably look at it at that stage and then see, well, you know, what are the options or where can we go from here, where can we take it from here. 
I suppose every parent's dream would be that, you know, they would be successful in something like the LPGA Tour. You know, it's everybody knows it's quite difficult to succeed in that. You know, the, the standard of ladies' golf is exceptional now, and it's getting better each year. The girls already have experience of the professional women's golfing world. Last May, at the age of 12, they became the youngest players ever to compete in a ladies' European Tour event, the Northern Ireland Open. The girls missed the cut, but were by no means out of their depth. Uh, they played in it, there was a lot of attention, there was a lot of media. They handled it very, very well. Um, uh, I don't think some adults would have handled the crowds that came out to look at them and the media scrums and that. Of course, there have been other female golf prodigies in recent years, most notably Michelle Wee. When she was at the same age as the Maguires, she was being hailed as the female Tiger Woods. Yet, despite the incredible amount of hype that surrounded her when she first burst onto the scene, Wee hasn't come close to living up to her billing. Many in the sport believe that Michelle tried to run before she could walk, playing on the men's PGA Tour before she'd made any sort of impact on the women's game. The Maguire girls won't be following Wee's ill-judged playing schedule. There's different levels of golf. You just don't go from a junior 13-year-old to a world beater. You have to go up the divisions and be top of each division as you go along the way. And if you keep doing that, you'll end up where you want to be. Whereas if you try and skip a few divisions, that's where problems start arising and, and it gets too commercial and things like that. Unlike Michelle Wee, who started playing golf at the age of four, Lisa and Leona's similar achievements have come in a much shorter space of time. Their dramatic impact on the sport was recognised at the 2006 Ryder Cup, which was held at the K Club in Ireland. After Europe's victory over the United States, the twins were asked to carry the trophy onto the stage during the presentation ceremony. The girls didn't miss the chance to ask for some tips from the greatest players in the world. Well, they just told us to keep practicing and that the short game was the most important and that especially when you get out to the different courses, one day your long game might be slightly off and you have to rely on your short game to get you up and down. If Lisa and Leona Maguire continue their incredible progression in the sport, then making the transition from child prodigies to adult stars will be seamless. With their phenomenal talent, the guidance of their coach and the support of their family, it's likely that you'll be seeing a lot more of this sister act in the years ahead. And remember where you saw them first. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel for the very best of Transworld Sports.